It's this week on Android World. First came gingerbread, then honeycomb, and now ice cream sandwich. Do you get to lick it? Find out today on Lab Rats. This episode of Lab Rats brought to you by Jack Threads. Hello and welcome to another edition of Lab Rats. My name is Andy Walker. I'm Shankar Rathers. And this is a show where we demystify technology, mobile, and all kinds of gadgets. And today uh, we're licking a little bit of sweetness over on the, in the Android world. Uh, so what's the story with these guys? These, they've had like, you know, I don't know, these are weird code words. Yeah, so at a certain point, uh, the folks at Google started giving code words to this that were tasty treats. So they had gingerbread and mm -hmm. then honeycomb. Mm -hmm. Ice cream sandwich is the newest one that's out there and coming down the road, jelly bean, we'll talk about that in a bit, but you can see the A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I sort of oh. thing, but all tasty treats, so. Tasty treats alphabetically. Yes, which is why you would want to lick it, which seems a little bit dirty otherwise. So today we're gonna demystify <laughs> all these crazy treats and you know, the various versions, and if you have one on your phone, and can you get the other, and what about these new things in the jelly bean, can you have that too? And, How's it all going to work? It's confusing. It is. We're going to demystify it because that's what we do here on Lab Rats. But first, a message from our sponsor. This episode of Lab Rats is brought to you by Jack Threads. You know, only suckers pay full price. Now, if you're looking for alternative threads like Kid Robot, Hurley, and Stussy, but hate wasting all of your cash on them, then listen up. You can score these premium brands at up to 80% off every day. There's a new invite-only shopping club just for guys called Jack Threads. That's the club, not the guys. And it's serving up street, skate, and surfer brands at prices that are going to melt your brain. There's a wait list, but forget that. Go to jackthreads.com rats right now to get the instant killer hookups. Go now! Did we mention that it's free to join? Head over to jackthreads.com rats and you can start saving right now without even having to leave the house. All right, cool. So, um... Let's talk about Android. So I mean, I guess the best place to start, even though perhaps most people out there in Lab Rats land know this, what is Android? Well, Android is a mobile operating system. So a lot of people are familiar, of course, with the iPhone and the iPad. Android does roughly the same thing on things like a uh, tablet here. We've got uh, the, the Samsung Galaxy Tab here. This is running Android, mm -hmm. Android 3. And uh, we've also got, say here, my uh, Motorola Razr. And uh, this is running uh, Android 2. 2.3 okay. to be specific. But so, so it's, an, it's a mobile operating system. It was created by Google. It's available on a vast number of different devices right. from Samsung to HTC to tablets. To yeah, yeah. So un unlike the iPhone, which is basically it's Apple's operating system. It's on these very specific Apple products. Google made it open so that any other manufacturer could sort of buy into the system and release their own handsets. So you got HTC, uh, Samsung, Sony. Um, Tons and tons of different manufacturers that are out there doing that. Right, and I know a lot of people. There's still some people, you know, who are still new to the smartphone world, talking about, "Hey, look at my iPhone!" But they're showing a Samsung product. So, right. You know, the iPhone is very specifically um, an Apple product. Yes. Right. Now, uh, Google did a really, really nice job of developing this smartphone operating system. Uh, I guess when we first kind of got to know the operating system version. Early on, it was called Gingerbread, and they named these things after sweet things, so you know, A, B, C, D, G. Uh, then they came out with, with Honeycomb yeah. after that. that was yeah. there, there are a few before that as well, but they, they didn't really get into the public consciousness until we got into the twos. But there, there are still some ones that were out there like 1.6, and this is part of the big confusion that's out there than what we're going to go through here as well. Okay, good. So yeah. where do you want to start? Uh, well, we're going to start um, the newest one, I guess, uh, that, that's out there. And I think this is what everyone always wants to know about. Everyone makes a big deal when there's a new iPhone out yeah. there. And there's a, less so when there's a new version of the Android operating system. Right. And they're, they're just pushing out operating systems rather than hardware versions like the iPhone because it's so many different manufacturers. Right. So the latest one is uh, Android 4.0. 4.0, okay. Which right. is codenamed Ice Cream Sandwich. Right. So you see G-H-I. So this -I, is right. two on since, uh, since the gingerbread that you mentioned. So, right. And so wait, yeah. let me just stop you there. So, okay, so there's somebody out there, they might have an Android phone. Yeah. They might have gingerbread on there. Mm -hmm. They might have honeycomb. Yes. And you're telling me that soon ice cream sandwiches is either coming or is yeah. about to come for some people. Yeah, it's, it's out there for some people. Some people are already rocking an ice cream sandwich phone. Yeah. A lot of people out there uh, that are buying them that are brand new right now are still buying older versions. Okay. And you can find out by going into your settings on your Google phone and yeah. looking at the about and it'll tell you which version you're running. Okay, and good. a lot of them out there, if they're running a handset like this, chances are it's going to be 2.2 or 2.3 rather than 4.0, which 
which is ice cream sandwich. 2.2.3, 2. which is what? Those are the old gingerbread ones. Oh. So. <laughs> okay, good. Um, it kind of makes your brain go kind of bonky, right? Yeah, that's it's, like, it's really hard. And that's, that's part of the reason we want to do this episode. That is the big problem with all okay, of good. this. All right, so take us through. So, so ice cream sandwich is going to come. Are we, uh, is everybody going to get it? Is it going to automatically go onto your, onto your Android Here's phone? The thing. Yeah, not necessarily. Right. So if your phone is too old, then probably not. Um, the first phone that rolled out with Ice Cream Sandwich was Samsung's Galaxy Nexus. Okay. And that's because with uh, any of these new operating systems, Google always partners up with a hardware manufacturer to actually create a version that will run this and showcase it. Okay. So, so before it was HTC, they were the ones that did the Nexus One. Nexus One, right. Uh, Nexus, the Galaxy Nexus is the newest one that, running, that runs Ice Cream Sandwich, and that was from Samsung. Yeah. Uh, they actually just recently uh, made the moves to acquire Motorola, so you can bet your boots that the next version, or Jelly Bean, is going to run on a Motorola phone. J for Jelly Bean? Right. Right. Um, so is, is that official, or are you just making that up? No, that's the official. Oh, so be, so you're going to so get Jelly Bean on your phone at some point, unless yeah. you, it doesn't work, and then you'll have to, you can't, if you can't upgrade, you have to buy a new phone with Jelly Bean on it. Yeah, something right? like that. Yeah, okay, so good. there's no details on Jelly Bean that are official yet, so we'll save the speculation for later. Mm -hmm. um, but the, the problem is, is that, um, unlike the iPhone, where you have all the iPhones that are out there have roughly the same hardware if you're getting the same version. Sure. So you get the iPhone 3GS, it's all the same hardware across the, the spectrum except for a bit of difference in memory. Yeah. And maybe one has, uh, well, in, in terms of the iPad, some have the, the Wi-Fi built in and some have Wi-Fi and cellular built in. Yeah. So there's a little bit of a difference there, but the difference in so hardware is mostly, very minimal. Yeah, exactly. Um, with, uh, with all of these other versions in Android, so the, the hardware between these two devices right here is very different. Yeah. Um, they, they have a lot of different things going on inside under the hood. Uh -huh. So there's some phones that when they get upgraded down the road can only upgrade so far and then they're done. Right. Because Ice Cream Sandwich sometimes requires things that these older bits of hardware like a, just Like a multi-core processor or more memory or a particular yeah. or, or, camera yeah. or, or just circuitry or Ex however it is. Exactly. Some of them yeah. just haven't been uh, able to upgrade because of the, the requirements of the operating system itself. Just the same way as the uh, Windows required a very certain level of hardware as yeah. you bumped up, right? Right. Actually, that's really good, right? So, so if you, I mean, if this is kind of boggling your mind a bit, a, a little bit, remember the world of Windows, right? Windows, uh, you know, 98, XP, ME, all of those. Every time you upgraded from one system to the next one, if the operating system didn't work, because it was too slow, it just meant the hardware on your computer had to be either upgraded, and if it couldn't be upgraded, you had to scrap it and get a new piece of hardware mm -hmm. to run the new operating system. And we're dealing with exactly the same thing here, too. It, it's, it's very like analogous, that. right? Yeah, it's, it's like that, and, and a lot of it is really because the, everything is so fragmented in terms of this, uh, this um, uh, particular operating system. There's so many different configurations in hardware, there's so many different manufacturers. It's, it's not an easy thing to say, okay, everyone can upgrade now and, and you're good to go. And that's, that's really part of the problem. Ice Cream Sandwich has actually been out there for a while now. People actually had Galaxy Nexuses last year mm. at this point. And a lot of people are saying, well, why doesn't my phone have this yet? A lot of uh, manufacturers, like again, Motorola here with the, uh, the Razer, it's Ice Cream Sandwich upgradable. Which means what? Which means that they're working on it. <laughs> Does it mean doesn't it, guarantee it, it, that it will be? Uh, well, I think it means sure. that it, it will be. They're just still working on it. So the, the question that a lot of people are asking is, well, why? Why does it take so long to get it onto all of these phones? And there's a couple of reasons for that. Uh -huh. One of them is that uh, each of the manufacturers has to rewrite drivers for the different hardware that's in the phone. Okay. And a driver is a... Tr is a something that allows operating systems to talk to the hardware. Right, so yeah. this camera right here may be different from the one on the other phone, so they need specific drivers that will work with that version of the operating well, system. Well, and you know drivers too, because if you're living in the Windows world, you know you need a driver, for example, for your new yeah. printer or, or whatever it is. So same thing, exactly. drivers that still exist on these devices. Right. Yeah, and not only that, you'll notice again that these ones look very different. Um, they have different skins. Um, skins? Yeah, so they, they have different ways of representing things on the screen, different oh. color schemes, slightly different icons. Right. They'll be manufacturer specific, so each of the manufacturers have to reskin it for their particular things, and some of them will have very specific apps, like Samsung specific apps, that they have to rewrite to work with the new version oh, of, of the operating system. Okay. So it's not just that, though. Now we have the carriers that get involved as well, because the carriers take these phones and put them out there with very carrier-specific apps on them, so they have to redo that. And when you say carrier, you're talking about the phone companies. Yeah, so like Verizon, AT&T in Canada, Rogers, and Fido, and Talos, and Bell. Mm -hmm. um, so they need to redo these. But here's the worst part. After they update these things, they also have to resubmit them for certification. So the carriers. Right. Oh, yeah. And the one thing that's really worth noting is that most of these manufacturers can't even get started on this process 
until after it's released. So, so <laughs> Google works with Samsung to make the first version, the Galaxy Nexus, right. but not even other Samsung phones push out with the ice cream sandwich right. at time of launch. So right. the Galaxy Note, which is their big new thing, right. it's upgradable. It doesn't actually have ice cream sandwich on it. I got it. Okay, so then, so we've only got a couple minutes left. So mm -hmm. what's the bottom line in terms of, so if I'm going to get ice cream sandwich, how do I know if I can get it? How do I get it? All right, so the, the one thing that you can do, I found a site online uh, at uh, Computer World that actually has a list of all the phones that are upgraded. So there are a number of them that are already upgraded, so you right. can see. If, uh, if you want to buy a phone, whether it's already on ice cream So go to labratsland.com slash ICS dash update. Update, yeah. Okay, good. So, Let's put that on the screen here. Yeah, and uh, it'll take you to this blog, and uh, they're keeping it updated as well. So as new uh, things get launched, uh, ice cream sandwich launches onto new phones, they're updating that to reflect that. Okay. So you can see whether it's, uh, it's done already, whether it's scheduled, or whether it's just not going to be compatible. Okay, cool. And I think also I have to know to kind of demystify myself, demystify my way through this world. Just don't get your hopes up. I right. think is, is the big well, advice that I'd have. It, it sounds to me like you know, I mean, hang on to your phone. You know, if you get an upgrade that gets pushed to you, great. If not, mm -hmm. and you really want the latest thing, unfortunately, you're going to have to switch out your phone. That's just yeah. the reality. Phones typically have a life of about 18 months on any given network. Yeah. Um, as it goes in the industry, so you know, yeah. if you if you change your phone every two years, you're on track. If you know, if you do it more frequently, it's going to cost you more money. But you get the latest features too. It depends on what you need. Yeah, and I mean, sometimes you say 18 months, but sometimes it's even shorter than that because there's always something newer and better. That's true. I mean, this, this one right here just came out uh, right now. It's uh, the Sony Xperia S. Oddly, the the first one that is. Um, uh, under the Sony brand name. It used to be Sony Ericsson before. Mm -hmm. um, and it's got 12 megapixel camera. All the stuff you'd expect in a mm -hmm. phone. Haven't played a lot with it yet, but it looks it's pretty beautiful. sweet. Yeah, yeah. It is a beautiful little device, but <laughs> it doesn't have ice cream sandwich on it yet. And I, mean, I would love for it. The box says it's upgradable, so stay tuned. It'll, it'll come with it later yeah. on, but you'll have to upgrade it. And we'll, we'll, we'll actually do an episode on actually upgrading okay. to a new firmware at some point when we finally find a phone that has an upgrade available. So far, I haven't found one. All right, well, if you are a keeper of a phone that has an upgrade to Ice Cream Sandwich, let us know, because we'd love to bring it on the show here. Uh, and it'll stop Sean from getting really angry. Ah, I have access to so many devices, and none of them are ready to upgrade yet. That's true. All right, well, if you'd like to uh, send us an email, uh, request a new show, uh, comment, uh, tell everybody about how you like Sean's new haircut, and you can email us at. I just upgraded to Ice Cream Sandwich, and now jelly beans coming out. Ah! At labrats.tv. How do you spell? Oh, uh, well, however you like. Okay, well, if you can't spell, uh, you can also use our shortcut, which is feedback at labrats.tv. There you go. We'd love to hear from you. Check us out on labrats.tv on the internet, uh, on YouTube at youtube.com slash labratsland, and coming soon, revision 3.2 in a few weeks. Or something, yeah. I'm just waiting for them to be excited about it, that's all. I'm really excited, but I'm still angry. <laughs> all right, well, that's it for, for Lab Rats this week. My name's Andy Walker. I'm Sean Carruthers. And we'll see you next time. Are you ready? Add it up a bit. <laughs> In five, four, three, two. <laughs> you apparently do not like to elaborate it up a bit. <laughs> okay, one more time. <laughs> Did not like to elaborate that.